entirely sure what to make with it. It was good. I enjoyed it, but I'm I'm not convinced that we're going to get more. And yeah. I I don't fully understand what happened. So basically, she found out about her mother. Uh-huh. Mariel just outright told just her, just spilled the beans right out in front of everybody. Mariel, she had to. No, I know because it was going to come out. Yeah, and but if- like. Peter even made a couple of comments where he it seemed like he was potentially considering telling her. Mariel was already on shaky ground yeah. with the finale from season one. Yeah. And well, not anymore. Yeah, but one of the last things her mother said was that she needed to kill her. And then she covers up her mother's death. And no, she's on shakier ground so- now. She got arrested. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess yeah. that's what they came in and arrested people, and and she was one of the ones that got taken. But again, I didn't see to what end. Yeah, and again, it it was great, but it it was the culmination of yeah. plots because so 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 Mariel told Catherine she went and cried at the grave, and then she went to the battlefront where she met with the Sultan of the Ottoman Empire and murdered him. Yeah, which that kind of shocked me at first until she confirmed that he looked at her ears. Yeah. And uh, I always want to say like Volstov. What is his name? Velamentov. Velamentov. He told her that you can have your plan. That's great. But if he looks at your ears, you need a new plan. Because he's going to cut them off. Essentially, Yeah. The sultan was like, these are the lines of our countries that I've redrawn. And it's the only thing I'll consider. And so it's like, no, he needed to die regardless. I mean, yeah. Yeah. But Even if he hadn't looked at her ears, someone should well, have stabbed him. Um, I, I mean, I align more with the Russians than I do the Ottomans yeah. at this point. However, I mean, they did kill the ambassador. Catherine doesn't know that. <laughs> no, I know. Yeah. But the, the Sultan was returned a headless ambassador. Correct. So he had grounds to demand he had grounds to start this war, not yeah, to demand the land. Sure, sure, sure. But so, uh, yeah, like I said, I was really shocked at first. And well, also, I think it can't be overstated how much more of a betrayal this feels to Catherine now that she is in love with Peter. That's what we started with. Yeah, She is hard in love with Peter. With the scent of sex thick in the air. They are making love mm-hmm. for sure. And yeah, so it's like she's like blissfully happy and crazy in love all of a sudden. And Mariel is like, he's the worst. And he also fucked and killed your mother. I would like to take the killed off the table. That part was purely accidental. (laughs) He handled that. He made that clear. Well, that was the other issue is. The the actual story wasn't really relayed to her until the end in which she had already sort of run all of her. Yeah. ideas through she let elizabeth have it I, elizabeth I, I i'm very vocal about how much i like elizabeth and that that she is probably my favorite character and i think she navigates this world and her role in it very fascinatingly because yeah. when we were dealing with Catherine's mother i was like you know well joanna's a woman of her time mm-hmm. and with that within those parameters she's making correct or or or, she's um, making understandable decisions yeah re- ra- reasonable decisions yeah. and i will take that back a little bit and say that i think that joanna is a woman of yeah. her time or um elizabeth is a woman of her time and is making the best yeah decisions. well they are also women of a time but elizabeth is elizabeth has been a member of the empire for a long time. Joanna is like a lesser princess. Mm-hmm. She's like, that's not a that's not the same at all. But mm-hmm. like Elizabeth has been part of the Empire. I still think more people need to put more respect yeah. on her. <laughs> no, a hundred percent. She also takes her lumps when she needs to. Mm-hmm. She I mean, Catherine slapped her and Catherine yelled at her and she yelled back. And I think that that's important. Mm-hmm. Well, she also but she she left. Yeah. And then. Um, so she, she did sort of, well, so Catherine meets the Sultan, he, they face off, he stabs her in the hand. Her hand, yeah. And. She stabs him in the face. Yeah. Like, right, like. And her, well, her guy was pretty worthless. And. Well, he was nobody. <laughs> nobody would go with her. She and so did she just, yeah. picked a soldier off the lineup who well, was taking a leak at the time. Elizabeth was there and. Yeah. In shot, the clutch. Mm-hmm, shot the other guard. But, uh, yeah, so she explained to Catherine 
in the carriage on the way back a little bit more of what happened. Yeah. And that's where she, because at the end when they were the arresting, you were like, why didn't they arrest Elizabeth? And that's where she was like, I've made my Yeah, my choice. choice. But she chose to warn Peter. So I was curious which way she actually meant that in that moment. That note mm -hmm. he opened up that said run, mm -hmm. that was from Elizabeth. Well, I mean, that might factor in if yeah. we get more, but uh, because again, the implication was that Mariel was arrested as well. And it's like, I mean, yes, she did participate in the cover up, but when she found out what hap would actually happen, she yeah. then. Yeah. So, I mean, well, I, I, I mean, I don't think they're going straight to the guillotine. No, I no, think no, no, that no. there's going to be like a trial yeah. or what have you. But that is what what brings us to. I I was actually kind of confused. It was Mariel's wedding to her cousin Maximus Maxim Maxim, and Catherine and Peter came in and made it all about them, which they are known to do. <laughs> we are the leaders of this world. Um, but was it just for the for the drama of it all that she pretended like she like she what had forgiven him? Mm -hmm. I think she kind of had, but I think she had already decided to kill him, and it was more about like making the peace with herself. Well, you think also, there's going to be a shootout, yeah? And which because fucking Tatiana has but guns under everybody's table, who's like their ally. Uh -huh. I think I think that's more what it is because the other thing is we also didn't lose him, which I love, but she stabbed Pugachev like 11 times in the it back was six, and, and he got up and walked away after, but <laughs> she was mourning him thinking it was Peter. And then when actual Peter walked in, she was like very happy that he wasn't dead. She was like, so that's what that I, I yeah. was unsure what had, I was like, yeah. so this was part of their grand plan to take out Pugachev. Like no. I was unsure what had happened. No, like, it's the type of thing where I think she was so overcome with, with relief that she hadn't actually killed him because she was devastated after she stabbed oh, Pugachev. Sure. And so that's the kind of thing where it's like, it's the type of thing where you've done the thing and you somehow still get a do over. It also was very, very interesting, funny to see the guard coming in and arresting everybody and not George because yeah. she was full blown. The mastermind. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We sound like we didn't like it. That's not the case. I loved, no, it, I loved but it. This is very much a, like, well then what does that mean? Yeah, exactly. You know? And so now I'm just yeah. sort of, I loved this. It, it will be at the top of my list, but yeah. I am sort of like, That's like when it ended, we all kind of went, Oh, yeah, that's the thing is I feel like you're right. If we get a season three, there's going to be a moment where she goes to speak to Mariel and she's like, why did you lie to me? And Mariel is like, I didn't know until I, I knew. And then yeah. I told you and like I, I cleaned out her room, but I was just told that she was gone. And that's like different. You know what I mean? And so like, her crime is not as bad. And also, I mean, Gregor didn't really do anything to to be warranted for his arrest to be warranted in this moment. Mm -hmm. This he was like completely clear of this, except for that he knew she was dead. But also, he only found out about it shortly before. Uh, I don't remember how he found out he wasn't involved in. He wasn't involved in the cover up. It was Elizabeth and uh, Peter and Mariel, and then I think Tatiana and Arkady were like part of it too. But I don't think Gregor did anything. Mm. Yeah, was he arrested? Yes. Okay. Yeah, Gregor and Mariel and Arkady. Well, I remember Mariel was. I couldn't and remember. And Tatiana. Yeah, was. he was right okay. next to her getting arrested too. So I don't know. I'm with you. But I think at a certain point it will be. Mariel, I think, is like one of the ones that's sure to get out of the situation. You would hope. Catherine has been burned a lot at mm -hmm. this point, though. I liked all their talk about marriage. It was interesting. I was actually going to say because uh, uh, the only note that I wrote down was it was something that Elizabeth said where Elizabeth was like, that is where a human being lives yeah. in the hows and whys, not in the should. Yeah. Oh, because she was like, she was. It doesn't matter how he killed her or why he killed her. But well, that's like, what that's yeah. what Catherine said. Yeah. And Elizabeth was like, well, it does, yeah. which is something that we are firmly on yeah. the side of because we have a, a, a saying that we like to say. But it's like when somebody will be explaining a situation and the person will be like, it's, it's no excuse. I'm like, it's not, not an, an excuse. excuse. It's an explanation. I am explaining how yeah. we got to this place. 
yeah. and then what you can decide what you're going to do with that information. 100%. And it is something that Elizabeth did kind of lay out for her that she was like, your mother was bad as well. Yeah. And she didn't seem to fully grasp that. Not We certainly didn't see it. I think I think she's still not 100 percent there. But I think when Peter was explaining and was like, she came on to me hard and I haven't been with anybody except you and those two maids in however long. You know, it's like, you know, you're not doing a great job of your argument. But oh, I forgot. Is. We did see them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so it's like we're not he's not doing a great job of like arguing his point. But on the other hand, given that he is Peter. Look, you look at what it's a pretty growth. it's a pretty good explanation. <laughs> so it's like also he only had sex with the maids because he was pissed at Catherine. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I mean, in this sort of environment, that is allowable you know it's hardly the worst thing that they <laughs> it's hardly the worst done, thing either one of them have done, done to each other i'm still a little unsure as to what's going on with the swedes they're just i don't either down i'm to, real confused it wasn't again it's not really a problem i just yeah. wasn't fully there because they were they were an amusing peanut gallery but and hugo and uh peter had a very strange a little fight did they like grow up together or something i need to watch season one again apparently but i think they have known each other for a while but also they were just like i think they were like immediately taken with each other in that episode in season one that because they are both nightmares yeah that feels i remember that weren't they in that weird palace that we started the season in Mm -hmm. okay yeah the one on the lake Uh uh-huh So and um, the wives like maybe I should watch yeah. this show that I like. She and Agnes, <laughs> Catherine and Agnes were like, huh. <laughs> but I don't know. Agnes seems very weird and like more in a Tatiana mold now than she was in season one. So I'm not sure. I, they are also a strange thing to me, although I would love a little bowl of hazelnut mousse just brought to me <laughs> whenever I desire it. But ended on a very like eh? uh huh note and I like it, but I am. Yeah, I don't know. I, like, want more. Like, a lot. This show's excellent. You should watch it. Everyone should watch it. <laughs>